Welcome to VTOP10 and today's video we're counting down the 10 Julian the Hawk Jackson best knockouts. Number 10. Julian Jackson vs Carlton Haywood. On August 6, 1993. Jackson beat Carlton Haywood by TKO at 2.16 in round 1 of 10. Haywood skal vel kanskje egentlig ikke være noen stor mot Jackson i hans på mange måter comeback match. Her går han til Julian Jackson og slår slag i siden. Har han virkelig inte. Aldri, aldri selvfølgelig i boksen. Det bara fyra knockouter av sina 13 seger. Det är gott han kan nå täcka sig. Men det enda stället han kommer till. Ja, precis. Drar fram med hocke, tar fram en flott vänster hocke rätt i pannan faktiskt. Så Ingmar säger och domaren number 9. Julian Jackson versus Ishmael Negron. On February 15, 1992, defending WBC middleweight title Jackson beat Ishmael Negron by TKO at 0.50 in round 1 of 12. El peso medio en versión del Consejo Mundial de Boxeo con ese pantalón tan ecológico y a Ismael Negron con el pantalón plateado. Está el título del mundo del peso medio en versión del Consejo, pero no se pierdan detalle porque el final está muy próximo. El combate es brevísimo. Ahí está. La izquierda de Julian Jackson rematando el trabajo. Ismael Negrón. Siguiendo el paso a tantos y tantos otros boxeadores. Negrón se ha ido a la luna en el primer asalto. El récord de Jackson lo dice absolutamente todo. 42 victorias, una derrota y 40 caos. El señor Miss Lane no ve en condición la repetición. La derecha que manda abajo no llega a dar. Sin embargo, el crochet de izquierda durísimo de Julian Jackson a la mandíbula de Number 8. Julian Jackson vs. Ron Collins. On April 10, 1992, defending WBC middleweight title Jackson beat Ron Collins by TKO at 157 in round 5 of 12. If Collins can at least good hard right jabs. And down goes Jackson. Ao in the counterpart. He learned anything from sparring with the champion. It's that the man can punch. He just got hit. Collins just got hurt with a good right hand. Oh, Collins almost hit the referee. Guadalupe Garcia. And now Jackson wailing away. That's starting to add up. Crisp left call. Oh, and there's a right by Jackson. He's got Collins in trouble. Julian looking a little ragged there. Maybe mad that he didn't put him out. A good right hand by Julian Jackson. And that snapped Collins' head back. Came back with a good hook. And Collins unable to protect his hand. Now he comes back with rights. And a right staggers Collins. Feeling that all Julian has to do is step on the gas and he's got him out. Collins has no legs, but he comes back with a combination. I think he's going to have to get stung to get back to fighting again. Combination by Jackson, and Collins just talks to Jackson. Whoa. And once again, Collins is stung. And, that's, and let me tell you, hit, that was great. He should have gone down, but he's there. He's still there, Collins, still weaving and bobbing. Now he goes down, finally. up at seven he should that should be it that's it that is it Julian. number seven julian jackson versus terry norris on july 30th 1989 defending wba super welterweight title jackson beat terry norris by tko at 133 in round two of 12. i think he doesn't want to do if you're terry norris on the left way out i'll tell you this julian jackson is thinking too much right now he generally just comes out and wails with both hands Feeling the pressure of being the challenger. Almost a role reversal between the two, Alex. Left by, by Norris at the same time. But really, Jackson. Another good right to the body that time by Julian Jackson. Overhead chopping right and the incredible knockout ratio of Jackson. Whoa! And then right to that, Terry Norris is gone. He lost his concentration for one critical moment and caught a right hand from the champion. Struggles to get up. 
Okay. He beat the count, but he's, he said he's all right, but don't go doesn't believe him. That's it. Number 6. Julian Jackson vs. Agostino Cardamone. On March 17, 1995, Jackson beat Agostino Cardamone by TKO at 150 in round 2 of 12 and one vacant WBC middleweight title. Because he's got round 2, Aaron Stowell, the chief. The boxing uh, expert from Rome told me that he's got a huge heart, Cardamone. This fight is just starting, but Julian's showing kind of a perplexity. Right jab is, is popping, it's disconcerting Julian Jackson. Julian's kind of, it's not coming off. I mean, he's, he's not, he hasn't got that old Julian Jackson all right now. Jackson being cautioned for the moment by Marty Dakin for hitting behind the head. Number 5. Julian Jackson vs. Beck and Chul. On November 21, 1987, Jackson beats Beck and Chul by TKO at 117 in round 3 of 12 and 1 vacant WBA Super Welterweight title. Number 4. Julian Jackson vs. Dominic Fox. On February 19, 1983, Jackson beat Dominic Fox by knockout at 219 in round 2 of 10. Number 3. Julian Jackson vs. Dennis Milton. On September 14, 1991, defending WBC middleweight title Jackson beat Dennis Milton by knockout at 210 in round 1 of 12. In the black and white trunks. And Jackson, as he told us, uh, asked Milton what he has to do to upset Jackson. He said, my boxing the magician is Dennis Milton, who is 16-2-1. I mean not if you're going to face a Julian Jackson who is learned. Good right hand by Jackson. Jackson looking to air it out here in the very first round. Milton foolishly holding on to the rope instead of covering up. And down goes Milton. He does not look like he is going to get up. He looks like he's part of the fixture. He's part of the canvas. The magician is down for the count. And it is all over. Number 2. Julian Jackson vs. Francisco de Asus. On February 25, 1989, defending WBA Super Welterweight title Jackson beat Francisco de Asus by knockout at 219 in round 8 of 12. The other way, championship of the world, the WBA Junior Middleweight Championship of the World. Champion Julian Jackson in gold, trying to get things go body shot that time. And I'll tell you how great body shot is. Watch the hell out of that time by Julian. He's almost hard to get the hand. He's going to go back to him and say that body to get the hands out. Right hand gets by that time, but not fully on the side of the head. 
instead of a shot on his glove of the Hazers. Just as I say that, the right hand catches Francisco de Jesus, the count's up to four, and five, and six, and now it's up to seven. He's not going to make it. It's eight, nine, and he's got it out. He knocks him out. Number one. Julian Jackson versus Harold Graham. On November 24, 1990, Jackson beat Harold Graham by knockout at 113 in round 4 of 12 and won vacant WBC middleweight title. But just the, the edge of the glove that's caught in there. But the Graham wants to be nice. Oh, look at that one. He pulled him under that control. Well, he certainly had to wait a long time. <laughs> Using every in Oh, what a punch! I can't believe that. Never been stopped in his career. And he's out to the world. Winning every round there, Harold Graham. Jim, have you ever seen such a turnaround? I did say at the start of the show, by the way, that I'd see. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.